Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303. Welcome back to another unboxing a ton of dope shit. So technically we don't have a ton of dope shit, but I do believe that we do have some quality items. There's about five things here, a mixture between apparel, nerd shit, and sneakers. And it is hot as a motherfucker in here, so I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. Ready? Let's get right into it. Nerd shit. Got another Spider Gwen annual number one. The cover is dope. I still haven't even had enough time to read any of the previous Spider Gwen uh, books that I got, but eventually I will get to it, and when I do, I'll have all of them. Then we got this guy right here. This is not part of the Power Ranger main story. This is actually a Power Ranger pink number one. So this is just a Kimberly story. Again, much like the other thing, I haven't had any time to read it. So it's a one of six. It's a mini series. Most likely I'll end up grabbing all six and then having some time to read it, maybe. But, you know, Kimberly is Bay, so gotta support the Bay, right? Last item of nerd shit, I actually ran into this guy right here. This is the Dark Knight Batman, and dude, he's awesome. I love it. I love it so much. He's so big and broody. It's got that classic Frank Miller look to it, man. It's just, if I run into any of those bitches too, I'm grabbing them also. Son of Batman right here, though, kind of looks like 80s Nightwing. Just saying. Okay, so... We've got some sneakers here. We'll open her up. Grab these over at Foot Locker, and I think I know what they are. And come on, guys. Look. Look. Look, this this came in a bag, okay? There's a hole in here, dude. What the f***? Like, what the f***? I paid for shipping. You can't put a box in it? I, I ship things to people all the time, and I put things in a box. It doesn't cost that much more to put it in a box. Come on, man. Y'all f***ing up. This box is toast. This box is toast. Look at this. Jeez. Okay, so check this out. This is what is in the box right here, and this is what I'm wearing right now. If you can't tell, it's a Crazy Light Boost 2016. Got another one. Another one. You guys have already seen these, so you know what they're all about. I love this shoe. I love it on court. Really love it off court as well. The forefoot is firm as far as boost is concerned, but to me, it's just really comfortable. I love it. How did I end up with two pairs? Kind of a funny story, but not really. I had a feeling that these things were going to be back ordered because most Adidas new releases are. Man, they smell funny. Like in a good way. Like Poonani on a hot summer day. Just kidding. So I assume these guys were going to be back ordered. I go on footlocker.com. I see that they are available now. I click add to cart, check out everything. I even paid for like extra shipping. So putting it in a bag, what the f And then I get an email like two days later saying, hey, guess what, bro? Your is back ordered. And I was like, dude, of course. Of course it is. That same day, I happened to see these on adidas.com without the back ordered listing. And so I bought them rush day, like next day air, whatever it was. And that's how I got the pair that I'm wearing right now. I forgot to cancel my order with Foot Locker. So what I'll probably end up doing is giving these away when, I don't know, don't ask me about it. Cause if you do, they're probably not coming to you. When I figure out how I want to do it, then I will either that or I'll just donate them somewhere locally and stuff. Cause I'm sure there's plenty of Hoopers in the Bay area that need some new kicks. Keyword on need, not want, need. So all you thirsty people, Get out my mentions. And look at this box. Look at this. What the f man? F and it's not the fact that I, I want to keep the box in a nice condition. It's just the principle of the matter, man. If you're going to put your shit in a bag, reduce the shipping charges. Like, don't. Ugh. Man, that really irks me, dude. That's a huge pet peeve. That's some bull. And it's hot as f in here, so that's why I'm a little bit, little bit angrier. Haven't gone on a rant in a minute. That's for damn sure. Now this, I think I know what it is too, but the label I don't recognize, so I'm not really sure. I'm almost positive I know what this is. We'll see in a second. I'm pretty sure it's some apparel. It is what it is, or what I think it is. It is what I think it is. First things first, go for broke hat. This is, this is dope. I love the way that it's all packaged. If you guys don't know, which you should, because my channel is tiny in comparison to theirs, um, but kind of sucks that the hat's all flat right there, but oh well. Um, but anyways, so Just Kidding News, Joe, Bart, and uh, David, who's a separate kind of person, but not, they relaunched what they call Go For Broke Apparel, and I thought that it was uh, pretty, pretty good stuff. Seems like okay quality. This seems like an iron-on patch. That's kind of weird, but happy with this nonetheless. 
If you like snapbacks, we still have select styles available at the Wear Testers shop. WearTesters.com slash shop. Shameless plug all day. But anyways, this is dope. So just item number one. Came with some cool stickers. Very dope. And the reason why I grabbed these things is uh, for two reasons. One, because I thought that the apparel was cool. And then two, being a small business owner myself, I wanted to show my support to another small business, even though their business is larger than mine. It is really f***ing hot in here, dude. Like, I'm like sweating bullets right now. So yeah, I grabbed uh, the apparel that I wanted, and so far, so good. This is a clean-ass t-shirt. We got this one right here, just their basic logo, I guess. And my favorite part about their apparel is the little attention to detail that they put in it. I think that that's awesome. I do the same thing with my stuff, and I think it's great that they, you know, kind of do the same thing with uh, just really appreciating quality. Very cool. This is the last item. This is something that I won't be wearing anytime soon, because it's hot as shit. But it's a really dope hoodie. This thing's heavy as hell too, but it's got that logo on the back, logo on the pocket, or not the pocket, but where the pocket would be, and then metal aglets right there, sneaker style, but with real metal. How come they could do it, but Jordan Brand can't? Hmm, I don't know. So that's that. Um, if you're interested in any of their apparel, I'll leave links in the description box below. And we got uh, one more, one more item. This is a big boy right here. This. This is something I've been waiting for for almost two months. This I purchased knowing it was back order because it was like a pre-order thing. I was surprised they even was able to get the damn thing. And then I got an email right when they were supposed to ship it saying that they delayed it for like a month and I was like, hmm, okay. At that point though, you've already paid for it. So it's like, what the f man, might as well wait. And the shipping label says that this thing weighs 12 pounds, which is crazy. Hold up, man. So you mean to tell me that I paid for something from Full Locker with extra charge of shipping. They couldn't provide me with one extra box to protect my purchase. Meanwhile, I bought something from this company. Not only does it come in a giant box filled with bubble wrap, but then it's in another box too. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, baby. All of you haters can start hating now. Hit that thumbs down button. All you bandwagon haters, since you guys like to call actual dubs fans bandwagoners for no apparent reason, even though you're the one bandwagoning on the hatred because you're morons. Yes, I said it. You're a moron. You can't just let people like what they like. And even if they are hype beasts or bandwagoning, who the f cares? Like, what the f is it to you? Anyways, this is sick, dude. It's got I Can Do All Things back there, Under Armour logo, two tier box, SC30. You probably already know what this is. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo! It just got a whole lot hotter in here. Eh, these ones, these ones are just wet. I'll open these first. Okay, so here we go. This is the back-to-back -back MVP pack. Bars, white guy bars, doesn't really count. And it comes with the curry ones and the curry twos. Now I bought the pack because I wanted these. Didn't really want these. And the reason being is because I have these. This is the first Curry One MVP. But just looking at it, they've definitely upped their, their gold ante. So you can see how this is more of a flat, kind of gold look to it, the paint, and this is definitely gold. They've updated uh, or upgraded their quality, as you can see. Even the shank is more gold on the new one than this guy. But they're still made out of the same stuff. It's all, all vinyl and everything. They basically repurposed this colorway and then put some more print on it. You know, it is what it is. Here's a quick look at them if you guys were interested though. I know that some people like the ones more than the twos. And I do like the one visually more than the two as well. I just like the, this version versus this version. <laughs> Huh. Wow, that smells like spray paint. But this is the one that I really wanted. Um, oh wow, they got clear soles. Can you see that? Peep that, there's clear soles with glitter in it. Definitely didn't notice or rem remember that if I did notice. Black midsole, gold speckles, cannot go wrong with that. Gold gradient fade, kind of got a greenish look to it, but it's because they got this uh, kind of like, not metallic, but you know, it looks like it's uh, almost trying to be reflective or iridescent on the toe. And then it fades into this jet black with the gold emblems. Very dope. It says MVP right there. That's kind of corny. I wish that they left the SC30 logo, especially since it's got that patch in there. This is more than enough to commemorate in my opinion. Inside's got some detailing, specialized insole. These are fire, dude. This is this is cool. So as a Dubs fan, as a Curry fan, I think this is awesome. Really, really dig it. Not a bad way to cap off the day, right? So that pretty much takes care of it. That is all of this week's dope Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll probably do a separate video on these whenever I get time. I still got, still got to do a video on these. Still got to do a video on these. I'm slacking, dude. Slacking. But that's what happens when you work full-time, plus you work full-time on YouTube and full-time on a website. 
you got very little time to do everything. Thank you guys again. Thanks for all your support. I'm going to go take a shower because I am sweating bullets. So until next time, guys, have a good one. Yo, what's good guys, it's Nightwing2303, and today I'm announcing a very cool giveaway. If you want a pair of KD9s in the USA colorway in your size, then listen up because this giveaway is for you. It is open to everyone, by the way, so whether you're you know, based in the US or you're international, doesn't matter, we'll get you the shoes, no problem. This giveaway is in collaboration with myself and Mir, and I was not really happy with on the pair that I played in previously. I don't know if it was the pattern itself or if it was that like kind of marbly, you know, two-toned kind of camo printed rubber that they use, which I don't like on any shoe. That stuff usually gives you inconsistent traction. But for whatever reason, I was not happy with the, the traction on the last model. So I'm hoping that these guys are better. Then you've got that 